right now family so we just begin the part three right now of this wonderful and powerful message already titled for you and me and right at part one okay the mystery of wife <laughs> says wife is the only reason for mass happiness testers and spermatosum part three so family in case i share this in the news feed of course i'm going to be doing that and you come in contact with this part three please kindly drop and go listen to 190 all right so we are on valley abbey what rather is on valley the deep meaning of ways over here like you know already if you are a constant follower all right this one we just call it wife you don't really know the glory the significances okay in it this is how powerful and glorious and wonderful and beautiful and lovely abbey has made a woman to be it is Abba was glory, which is the very first letter. Why did third letter not go for the glory of man? What did the first letter go for? What was the mystery Abba was bestowed upon the very first letter? Woman's womb. Water, excuse me, woman's womb. It is here who was laboratory to water man here on earth. Is that coincident? That is not. That's what it is. Is what Abba was said it is. That is what it is. Woman's womb is really, you know. <laughs> is a drive power is the force life giving you know of a you are here on earth for you ma <laughs> so right now so i was here talking like i said this first clip uh this very first alphabet has a huge you know uh, uh, uh scriptures to unveil it okay and it is powerful this is the most really really heaviest one so the other three alphabet is simple okay light so that is why this one go for three alphabet i don't know so maybe three alphabet or four i don't know so let me do my best if i will be able to end it at the third uh, alphabet uh video excuse me so right now i was here uh talking about the op uh, the first fruit that openeth the womb i bet you what said it belongs to him let's see to part two because i'm not gonna uh reverse what i said over there i just want to quickly through the mm, haha, two scriptures that is left we read malaka okay there was nothing over there that said money it was speaking of the fruit so everything the first fruit of the land belongs to abeyu who are the first fruit of the land belongs to when you you know you are a farmer you just rip uh, rip your harvest okay the first of it all belongs to abeyu who are the same with a womb so that means to say the grand also have a characteristics of the womb to bring forth you know every season you know <laughs> its glory and likewise that i, I can conf confidently say right now that the earth is the womb i also carry the womb, the glory of the womb what does womb does it is to shield you it is to incubate you it is to protect you it is to provide for you. It is to nourish you. It is to give you a wonderful and a lovely body. And right at the end of it all, push you out. to see the light of day. Exactly what the grand does. So when Malachi said, I will rebuke the devourer from the feet. The feet is the word. Okay, you can also see Matthew 13. And the grand again, I can confidently say, is talking about again the womb. Let's bring it forth. You know, as a man, a man gave the seed. You plant in the womb, okay? Therefore, she not give you an offering. That's what you put over there, she give it unto you. As you put the seed in the ground, that's why I you what said. Every first fruit of the field belongs to him, of the womb belongs to him, whatever, whatever. And we now avoid that because Cain was that of the sempe, he was the offspring of sempe, because rather, he was the one who opened the first womb on earth. But Abba Yehwa rejected him. Why did he take it? Because he opened the first womb. It is the first fruit that opened the womb. But for Satan to reproduce demon into flesh. Listen to part. It was awesome and powerful and profound. Okay. Now, that is why Abba Yehwa rejected him. Because Abba Yehwa can't contradict his saying. He said everything that opened the womb belongs to him. Okay, and K was the one that openeth the womb, but Abiyawa rejected him rather not go for Abu. Why? Because K was the one that openeth the womb for the serpent in order for him to reproduce demons into flesh. What does the womb of Abiyawa is doing, which is our, the womb, the author of life? That is Abiyawa divinity. 
the power of his procreation. What is he doing? It is to reproduce angel into flesh. So that was the art of Abba Yehoah. Listen to part two. It's not good to be repeating one words. I have already said this at part two, part two, one, part two. So you just go and I just hang this up because I still have much to unveil in order for me not to spread to the fourth video. All right now. So why did I bring this in? That is Isaiah 53 verses 2. He said this uh, tree is going to, uh, excuse me, this plant is, is, is a plant that is being planted on the dry ground. It's a plant that is being planted on the dry ground and spring out from the dry ground. You know, he's speaking of Messiah. Messiah was the one. What was the dry ground? Virgin belt. Virgin birth. You can read it. Okay. Now, Isaiah, I guess it's six verses 9. Abba Yawana said, He that plant in the womb, can he not open the womb? So he is the one to knit you right in the womb. And at the proper time, he is also the one to bring you out from the womb. So Abba Yawa is the one, the author of the womb. That is his covenant. That is his throne. He walk with the womb. That is where the covenant is. Abba Yawa have a covenant with a man penis cut of flesh at the eight days. So what covenant do Abba Yawa have with the woman? Where is this covenant in us? Right in our womb. He is the chief chairman that controls our womb, where the seed needs to go in, and how the seed needs to be nourished over there, and what time the seed needs to be there, and how the seed needs to be cared for, and at the proper time, when the hour and the moment come for the seed to go out, but your way is the one to press the button and push it out. He is the one doing it. That is his office. All right, now. Quickly, let me read it before we proceed. Shall I bring, uh, Isaiah 66 verses 9, Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to uh, bring forth? Saith Yehovah, Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? Saith the Elohim. So he is the one to, when the proper time comes, is the one to unlock, break the seal, and push it out for you to see light first time as you now became a flesh, from angel to flesh, or from demon to flesh. <laughs> It is reproduction. So now we go for the breast part. We have already unveiled, like I said at part one, everyone came from the womb. Everyone sought the breast of a woman. Whether you are a man or a woman, you sought the breast and you came out from the womb. So that is how vital it is. So right now, what does breast has to do with the word of Abba Yehua? Let's see what is breast before the word of Abba Yehua. All right, now here I am, First Peter 2.2. 2. As newborn babies, as newborn babies desire the sincere make of the world that he, that ye may grow thereby. Even so, be ye have tested that Yehovah is glorious. Okay. So, as a newborn baby, okay, desire what? Make, you know, to grow. So, where is the make coming from? So, you need to desire the word of Abba Yehovah. And we see what womb is. There is also a spiritual womb. Listen to part two. Okay. And we see the glory of the spiritual womb. Listen to part two. That is going to reproduce you into a jelly bee from flesh. First of all, you were once angel reproduced into a flesh. Okay. That was the plan before the fall. Abba Yehwa can change his plan. Now again, the spiritual womb needs to reproduce you from, from flesh into a jelly bee. Angelic bee. That is the glorified body. You must be reproduced. You must be born again. You must enter the womb the second time. And you must be there for a period of a time. Until the proper time, you will remain there. And while you are there, there you're going to be commissioned. And what you are going to be? And how many you once said to Yerimi Yahu, Before I found thee, I knew you. You were once angel. And before you were being brought forth from the womb, okay? Uh, I've already ordained you a prophet. That's it. That is where you that, that is the ground of preparation. The womb. <laughs> Are you in the spiritual womb? For the ground of preparation for rapture? <laughs> you want to rapture? But meanwhile, you are from the womb to the tomb. Listen to part two. Like I said in part two, that uh, say a serpent go into marital affair, okay, with women, right? In Genesis 2. All right. Also needing women to reproduce demon for him into flesh. So Genesis is, and uh, Messiah said, that is the how, that is how it will be at this coming. So if you want to know where we are in our spiritually time clock, 
go back to Genesis 6 and know what was going on over there. Exactly what is going on today. Okay, women is reproducing demon into flesh. And this demon is going to reproduce that day of flesh into demon because you must return back to what, what you are. You will return back over there, okay? So now how is he going to redeem, uh, re reform you or remake you or reproduce you now back to the demon you once was? Lies. Listen to part two. Lies. It's using lies to reproduce people from womb to the tomb. You can also read Ezekiel 37. He used lies to slay us. He used lies to put us in the grave. It, it, we came from the womb. Instead of us to return to the spiritual womb. He now used lies, lies now to put us from the womb to the tomb. Ezekiel 37. Multitude armies of Abiyah were we slay in the grave. They were in the grave. That is from the womb to the tomb. Mm -hmm. From the womb to the tomb. So exactly what this deity is doing. Alright. So we see the breast aspects. Is the word of Abba Yehua, okay? When woman is about to give birth, water came, blood came. We unveil that powerfully. Listen to part two. Here I am, First Corinthians three two. I have fed you with milk, and not with our uh, meat. For here too, ye we are not able to bear it. Neither ye, neither ye, neither are uh, yet now are ye able. Milk. When a new baby is out. You, you breastfeed. And this is what the word of Abba Yehovah is as a newborn baby, you know, desire to feed, to be nourished by the breast and the milk from the mother's breast. And so do, so should have every word, desire, the true, the sincere word of Abba Yehovah, to, you know, to, 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 to feed on it and to grow up with it and to become a, to develop powerfully and wonderfully as the word of Abba Yehovah builds you. He makes you grow and he makes you so look wonderful. Okay? That is how everyone here on earth should have desire, uh, desire the word of Abba Yehua in order for you to grow. You keep it Bab Babylonian? You want to grow? No, that is from the womb to the tomb. Mm -mm, that cannot grow. See. Listen to part two. Because it said the wicked has entangled. He said the wicked, I think as, as Psalm 58 verses 3 or 6, he said the wicked has entangled right from the womb. As soon as they've been born, they begin to speak lies. Read it. It was powerful. So he's going to use light to reproduce you back to demon. And why the truth is going to reproduce you back to the angelic being you once was. If you were once angel, the truth of Abba Yehovah, as a newborn baby desire a pure milk, so you desire the word of Abba Yehovah to reproduce you back to the angel you once was. But if you are once demon, definitely the lies of the serpent is going to reproduce you back to the lies you once was. That will not be from the womb to the tomb. <laughs> All right, now here I am. Hebrew, 4, Hebrew 5, 12 to 14. For when, for, for where, oh, excuse me, for where, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. That is the Christian, no? I was one taught again. Which, which, be, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yehovah and are become such as have need for milk. Because when you keep drinking milk, look at children. When you keep, you're going to take that milk for a certain period of it, or maybe uh, uh, a year. No, the breast, maybe you're going to take that, you know. Yes. Let me just extend it to a year. Some can end at six months, some three months, depends. Then you go for solid food in order for you to grow and develop very, very well. The same with the word of Abba Yehua. Okay. Need for milk. So how can you tell me after you are uh, four years, you still want to be breastfed? <laughs> You're going to deform. You won't develop well. If you don't eat solid food. And not of strong meat. Strong meat simply means revelation. Vicious. A revelation of Abba Yehua. Doing things right away. So when I was a child, I talk like a child. I act like a child. I do things just like a child. But when I become a full grown up man, I not put child these things aside. You know, those they said they are not poor reflection in the mirror. Can you tell me you are born again? You stay fornicating. <laughs> Drinking the Gogoro. Really keep it Sunday, the day I Sunday, the day they used to worship so. Eh? Doing all this crap. No, it's from the womb to the tomb. That's it. That's it now. For every man. Excuse me, for everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a baby. 
Glory may be <laughs> But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who, by reason of use, have their senses exercised to the sun, both good and evil. That is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When you are a full grown up man, you will begin to know that the serpent deceived the whole world and you will sort out your own path. Where did it deceive me? When you are a full grown up man, you don't keep all this. Garbage of the Christian though. When you are a full grown up man, because you don't desire milk anymore. Now you want to go for solid fufu. <laughs> I want to eat fufu very heavy. Okay? Very solid food. Revelation, visions. You will now begin to do things just as the royal law wanted to do it. I'm not talking about now. You are still angelic being. No, when mess come, some you know, kind of imperfect, you just plead for mercy, you dust it off, you keep moving on, you never return back. Okay, that is how it works. Because you are being produced and be reproduced back to angelic be until you get to the goals, any obstacle that comes your way, you never mind and never feel burdened and never intimidated. You plead for mercy, dust it off, and go and sin no more. That's it. All right, now Matthew eighteen three, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. What does this have to do with what we are saying over here? And the other side, when you keep drinking milk, you are skillful, you are still a baby. And yes, you need to convert to a baby. So what was that? And how can we re rectify this now? Very simple. In the other world, you cannot keep drinking milk. That one is clear already. Okay. In this very aspect, what does baby do? Maybe it's not worried for the things of the world. Maybe it's not fighting for property. Maybe it's not fighting for riches. Maybe anything you tell baby to do, he just do. Because now you are a baby before Abba Yehuah. When he said, keep my Shabbat holy, you keep holy because you are a baby. When he said, keep my face holy, you keep holy. Celebrate my face at, at each appointed time, you just do. Okay, daddy. <laughs> and when he said, do this, you do. <laughs> Only one name is given whereby you must be saying, okay, daddy, it's Yahushua. Okay, I come in my father's name. <laughs> you must receive that is what you need to do, just as a child, very lovely child. Child, for, don't fight for property. You don't fight for wealth for private jet. Child, don't do that. That is how you become an angel. It's anyone that touches you as you begin to turn like baby. Okay, as you turn baby now, anyone that touches you, your angel is going to report to him, that person, to Yehovah. Okay, because now you are, you, you are being birthed. Okay, out of that spiritual womb, and now you are now living as a baby before Abba Yehovah. Baby don't challenge his maker. Baby don't dare speak back to his maker. Baby don't have no ordinances of his or her own. Baby don't say, no, you say I should keep Shabbat. No, sir, I'm going to do Sunday. No, baby don't do that. Whatever you give to baby, baby, just take it. Say, okay, daddy and mommy. <laughs> I love you, daddy. I love their innocences. He's speaking of innocence. Be like that of baby. You will be so innocent. That's it. Don't fight for yourself. Baby, don't fight for yourself for themselves. Baby, don't work as salvation for themselves. Mm -mm. And how what the, the rose of baby? As Abba you was a keep Shabbat. That is how you work it out. Okay, daddy. Finish. That's it. That is all he just wants you to do. <laughs> Here I am now. Mark chapter 10, verses 15. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of Yehovah as a little child, he shall not enter therein. You are not coming in. You are not done. What does adults do? They detect for themselves. They do things the way they want to do it. Okay, this is what I want to do. This They make plans for their lives. You are not coming in. That is the Christian law. The adult. That is Islam. The adult. That is synagogue of Satan. They are adult. That is the things of the world. They are adult. That is the secular world. Donald Trump, all these civil rulers. They are adult. You are not coming in. You are not coming in. All these worldly people. You go nowhere. Because now you are adult. You refuse to return to childhood. And live for Abba Yehovah. <laughs> the day you decide to do that. That is the day you go from the womb. And to the tomb. <laughs> All right, now here I am. Genesis twenty. Uh, excuse me, uh, three twenty. And Adam called his wife's name Kawa, because she was the mother of all living. Did you get that? So let us some more before we unveil. 
Here I am, First Timothy chapter two, eleven to fifteen. Let the woman learn. Let the women, uh, let woman. Excuse me. Let let the woman learn in silence with all submission. But I suffer not a woman to teach, not to use a uh, sub authority over the man. That is the authority of serpent, like the first woman did. Okay, I will know why the first woman did that. But to be in silence. Okay. For Adam was not uh, for Adam was form, was first formed, then Kawa. And Adam was not deceived, but both both at isn't it? Listen now, Adam was not deceived, but a woman being deceived was in the transgression. What transgression? Listen now. Nevertheless, or notwithstanding, she shall be saved in child bearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with soberity. All right now, and that was not deceived, really. But he was deceived. But the woman was in trans transgression, not the man. Why? Yes, because womb of a woman. Remember, we I read Genesis three twenty said she now became the mother of all living. First of all, what was her name? Woman. And why is the name Abba Yehovah give to her? Helper. That was her once name. But as soon as that incident transpired, what happened? Uh, the man now reversed his name. Her name, excuse me, and I change it into the mother of all living. What was it saying? The woman is in the transgression, not the man. The woman was the one that deceived, not the man. But they both ate of it and they both got, uh, got a sentence by Abbe Yehua. So, what is he talking about? Assuming homosexuality was just what took place in Eden's garden, there would have been no offspring or serpent. This is why the woman is in the one that is in transgression. The womb is the mother of all living. So the womb produced the seed of serpent, the womb produced the seed of Abbe Yehua. The womb produced angelic being into flesh, while the womb also pr produced demonic being into flesh. That is why the womb is in the transgression, the woman. That is why the woman is being called deceived, because this is the key. Abbe Yehua gave unto the woman to write his, the power of his divinity here on earth over for man. But this is the reason why serpent came to deceive her. This is the reason why serpent came to ask her for a help because she's the helper. She need to help him out to prosper. When it comes to childbearing, the woman is the key, the womb, to reproduce. That is why serpent, the serpent cannot go to Adam to say, no, "Come and help me." No, he got no womb, but the woman does. And serpent also want demons to be reproduced into flesh. That was why he goes to the woman. And that was why the woman is in the transgression. And that was why the woman is be the one that is being deceived, okay? And that was why immediately the mother changes her name to the mother of all living. That is why woman became the mother of all living. Revelation 17, you see a woman over there as a ministry. Revelation 12, you see another woman there as a ministry, a holy woman in Revelation 12, a filthy womb in Revelation 17, a holy womb to reproduce and jelly be into flesh again in, in flesh back to the glorified body. That is the holy womb. Both the spiritual and the physical womb conjoined together right in Genesis, uh, excuse me, Revelation 12. And now go to Revelation 17, you're going to see the filthy womb that is reproduced. That is the daughters of hell. That is the daughters of Jezebel. That is the daughter of Allah, the a lot, a loser, a man, horrible shanta yaba manata. The seed of serpent that is happy Allah, which is the very dragon and the serpent that deceived the old world to reproduce demon into flesh. The daughters of destruction, the daughters of Babylon, which the Christianity are. They are happy Allah to reproduce the devil, the serpent to reproduce demons into flesh. They dominate the whole world. And Yahushua said, The biblical Messiah says, It's coming, going to be like the days of Noah. Go back now to know what time are you in the spirit realm? What time are you? You are in the days of Noah. And what was going on in the days of Noah? It is the marital affair of serpents, the fallibility, with women. And what kind of children that we are bringing forth for them? Demonic children. Giant. For the vile humanity. And you see how they are the humanity? It's snake in the name of Jesus. It grass in the name of Jesus. Suck my stick and my spam. What? Is the pure what make for you to get to get rapture? <laughs> Whoa, I want to vomit. <laughs> I'm glad the very final part to go. It is what womb is a rest for ma. Womb as rest for ma. Now, rather, first of all, let me take it to Abaya Hua. Womb is Abaya was rest. Is his rest office? That is where he worked. 
That is his office, okay? <laughs> and it's also man's rest, okay? Where man always go and plant seed. Man will check how many seed they have. We'll say, ah, I still need some more, baby. Come over. Hey, let me drop some seed over there. And she'll say, yes, my Adonai, my master. And she will just, you know, open the ground. And, you know, the rod do some, you know, cultivate you over there. And just plant his seed. After brushing, 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 and grinding, grinding, grinding. <laughs> and the womb is always, you know, available to capture it. She have never missed it because that is what she is designed for. That is why this wicked animal simply came to her. That is why this wicked animal came to us and began to make a negotiation with us to come and help him to reproduce demon. Women is the one bringing forth demon today. And women is the one that is in transgression today. I could say, that is what Muhammad said <laughs> in Quran that women, hell fire is full of women. <laughs> Maybe I don't know why that wicked animal also said that it's at war with women. We will touch on that because we got that in a point. His hair fire is full of women. He's waging war against us. Woman, joke apart, woman is in the transgression. Why? Because they open up their grants, their womb, and cultivate serpent in, open up for serpent to come and cultivate and plant in demon in their womb. And reproduce the demon into flesh. That is why women is in the transgression. Mm -hmm. But the daughters of Zion will be cleansed. In this seventh, we begin already. You see, we are just read first, first Timothy chapter 2, 11 to 15. It said, Notwithstanding, she will be saved in childbearing. What childbearing? Like what I'm doing I'm, is, is my childbearing. Doing the work of Abba Yehuwah. Coming into my wife's office. You know, say talking about the truth of Abba, you were not twisting it like the first woman did. Because the first woman twisted it in the happy serpent. But this one, I'm not twisting it. I'm just bringing out the way it is to help to plant the seed of Abba, you are. This is how I bring forth children. And this is how I will be saved. By doing the will of Abba, you are. He said, in these last days, your sons and your daughters, they will prophesy. They are going to do my will. I'm going to pour out my spirit in these last days upon your sons and upon your daughters. They are going to do my will. So the Ruach HaKodesh, Hakodesh has already been poured on me. So that is why I am I'm speaking about the truth. My mother, Kawa, failed to speak. As Sempe come to her, she should have rebuked Sempe and said, God, live behind me. I need to keep the rules of my father. But well, she missed it. So that's what I'm doing over here. In order for me to be saved. This is the only way. This is how I work out my own salvation. Like we just read. Say nevertheless. She will be saved in childbearing. So if I just, if I don't repent. I get pregnant. Bring children. Get pregnant. Bring children. No. Is that how I be, will be saved? Not at all. It's talking about spiritual children. Like what I'm doing. I want to listen. It's plenty for you. This is how I give birth to you. And this is how I will be saved. And when you also listen as a woman, you also put yourself together in the spirit, also pass out the message. That is how you be saved as well. That is it. That is how it works over here. Okay, as we continue in holiness and charity and sobriety. That is it. In holiness, not your children, okay? Not the task of Jezebel, okay? Mm -hmm. Not the task of Jezebel, okay? So when I say womb is my rest, again, I'm referring to woman is my rest, wife is a man's rest. So one of us, the first see that of Abba Yehua, and we'll not see that of Emma as well. Or when we are on that of Abba Yehua, and that also goes for me. Here I am, Revelation 9, 11, 19. And the temple of Yehua was opened in the heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of, the cov the ark of his covenant. And there was lightings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. All right now. So I want to put some more. So as soon as the holies of holies of Abba was opened, what was there? The Ark of the Covenant. So let's put some more. All right now, Exodus 25, 17 to 22. So right now, why? We, we just read Revelation eleven nineteen. Why should the author, you know, is Yahushua, the biblical Messiah, give it that vision to Yehu Kanai, the revelator? Why did he just mention and said, as soon as the temple was opened, what, 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 what was in the temple? The altar of Abba Yehovah, the Ark of His Covenant. So we want to talk about the Ark of His Covenant. And let's see what was that or what is that. <laughs> Let us make more in our own image. Always remember that. I read now, 17. And thou, and thou shalt make a mousy seat of pure gold, 
two cubits and a half shall be the length, uh, the length, yes, thereof, and a cubit and a half the border, the breadth thereof. And thou shalt make two cherubims of gold, and uh, of gold, of beaten work shalt thou make them in the two ends of the mercy seat, and make cherubim, and make one cherubim on the one end, and the other cherub on the other end. Even of the mercy seat shall ye make the cherubims on the two ends thereof, and the cherubims shall uh, stretch forth his wings on high, covering the mercy seat with their wings and their face. Faces shall look one to another towards the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubims be and thou shalt put the the mercy seat above upon the ark listener. The mercy seat is the throne of Abba Yehua. Maybe you know that already already by now. Listen, I wanna dig with the we are dealing with the ark of the covenant. The mercy seat above upon the ark. And on the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I gave thee, and there will I meet with thee, and will come with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubims, which are upon the ark of the testimony of all things which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. Did you get that point? What is the ark of the covenant, and how do they make the ark of the covenant? Do you see? the wood they used to make it and we are three yes well romans 11. okay uh nebuchadnezzar is a tree that's a romans 11 the gentiles they are three yehoshua hameshach genesis 2 is over there the tree of life genesis excuse me revelation 22 you see the tree of life is a tree in genesis uh again two three we see the tree of the knowledge of good and evil which is the tree of death so we can also be called a tree so now what can with abba yawa be having with just a wood what kind of nonsense is that hey we're just gonna be making a covenant with just a wood ordinary wood he's speaking is his figure of speech he's speaking of a person okay if you are cause that follow you know we are driving to already he's just speaking of a person so let's put some more so what is what was if you really want to get the full packages of this message that are uh, 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 for this mystery i'm just i'm gonna do it very light over here so if you want to get the full packages of it please please kindly go and listen to one mystery i did the mystery of sync review abbe yehua review excuse me the mystery of sync review the overall and eternal bridegroom is abbe yehua just go there i unveil it i use the a lot of you know proofs to prove it unto you that the ark of the covenant is a woman okay so want to see who is that woman you're gonna get it over there this uh, this is how about you what described and this is rest upon this the 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 this mercy seat he said you shall put the mercy seat above this is the seat of abba yehua let me put some more i also did this mystery it was powerful the mystery of sex you can also go and listen to it this way abba yehua this, this is the ark of the covenant is a woman and this seat is upon the ark of the covenant. That is where he rests. Because he always walk with a womb. The womb is his office. The womb of his daughter is the one to direct the seat inside that womb. But the Abbe will have his own womb, his own wife. This is it. Yeah, the ark of the covenant. And he will sit upon here. And these are the two angels. The cherubims. We are, I just read. And Psalm 91. Psalm 91 said he sit between the cherubims upon the ark of the covenant is where his rest is okay he took his taking rest over there luke chapter 1 26 to 35 you can also read it at, at your quiet time what did he say to Ma mariam he said for the holy one to be born the royal hakodesh is going to come upon you and husband come upon his wife for a seed to be planned the husband will come upon his wife and that is how the Ruach HaKodesh come upon her. When you also go to Matthew 18, excuse me, Matthew 1, uh, 18 to 20, where you, you are still taught, you know, to divorce uh, or marry her because I did not have no sexual intercourse. You just got pregnant. What, what could that be? The angel of Yehovah revealed unto him that don't do that. What she's conceived is being conceived by the Ruach HaKodesh. In another way, the Ruach HaKodesh got her pregnant. That is the power of Abba Yehovah DNA. He used to plant seed. 
So this matter is very clear. The, the wood is not just wood. He have a covenant with the wo wood. Is a woman. <laughs> and that is where his rest is. Let me put some more. Now what is inside the Ark of the Covenant? Hebrew 9, 1, 2, 5. Then verily, the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. You know, whatever you have here is a replica. That is what I said. That is what we are really here. Do you once exist as an angel being reproduced into flesh or you once exist as a demon being reproduced into flesh by the power of womb? Again, you are going to be reproduced by the spiritual womb into angelic being. That is the glorified body because of the four sinful nature of a man. And the one that was once demon, you are going back to demon. How is it going to re reproduce you into a demonic being again by lies? That is from the womb to the tomb. But you that was once angel, come not be reproduced by the womb into flesh. Again, you are going to be reproduced by the truth into angelic being. That is the spiritual womb we are really over here. Two now. So whatever you see over here is a replica of what, what is going on in heaven. Two. For there was a tabernacle made the first, wherein was the candlestick and the uh, table and the showbread, and which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle which is in the holies of holy of all, which had the goddess censer. That is what is inside the covenant, okay? The goddess censer. And the ark of the covenant overlaid around about with gold wherein was the gold pot that is the manna okay that that had manna and arrows a rod that burned it and the tablet of the covenant this is the only three objects you're going to find inside this ark of the covenant and all three goes for Yehoshua. is the bread of life okay he is the uh, eternal high priest you know that already you can also see hebrew 7 for that and um uh, what was that? It is the word of Almighty Yehovah, because it's the only three objects in the in the in the in the Ark of the Covenant, the word. Uh, John one or uh, uh, fourteen said the word that became flesh. Okay, so this the all all you are gonna see. John six I think thirty five or so said is the bread of life. Yes, is the bread of life. So this is the three objects you can find in the Ark of the Covenant, which is Yahushua Hamashiach, and who is his mother? Let put some. Here I am, Second Samuel or uh, six seven. And the hunger of Yahuwah was kindled against Uzzah, and Yahuwah smote him there for his error, and there he died by the ark of Yahuwah. He died before the ark of Yahuwah. Why? He touched the ark of Yahuwah. You made not only the one the high priest which Yahushua is going to take over when he comes is the one to do it because it's a replica of something that is going on in the heavenly. So who also got killed? The serpent. When it touched the ark of the covenant, that is the womb of a woman. When you make a negotiation and touch, you defy her. So what happened? He got killed. So where is his death? Eternal link of fire. Revelation 20. You can read it all. You can read it all. Or 10 verses 10 to 15. Or oh, oh. So he got eternal domination. Because you, you, you pollute woman. You mingle with the woman. Okay, listen now. Verses 9. And that we was afraid of Yehuah that day, and said, How shall the ark of Yehuah come to me? Exactly the same question the ark of the covenant also asks. Uh -huh. Here I am, Luke chapter 143. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Adonai should come to me? Exactly the same question. The ark and the ark of Yahweh come to me. And Elizabeth also said, The, uh, the mother of Madonna come to me. I read now. Second Samuel 6, 14. And King David danced before Yehovah with all his might. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I should, should I be reading 16? Okay. Uh, Second Samuel uh, 6, verse 16. And as the ark of the uh, Yehuwa came into the city of David. Uh, Mikasa's daughter looked through a, w a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before Yehuwa. That I'm going to argue there. I'm not after her, whatever. All right, now Luke chapter 141. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mariam, the baby leaped in a womb. And Elizabeth was filled. With the Ruach HaKodesh. The baby again leaped in the womb. 
And King David lived when the ark of the covenant came into his house. He lived and danced to the glory of Yehovah. So one Mary and the mother of Yehoshua also came to the house of Elizabeth. The baby in the womb, who tied the baby in the womb to dance, to leap? The baby began to leap from the womb. <laughs> Coincident. All right now, back again, Second Samuel 6, 1-2. Again, that we gather together all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. And that we arose and went with all the people that were with him from the uh, Baal, Belial of Judah to bring up from death the ark of Yehovah, whose name is called by the name of Yehovah of hosts the, that, that dwelleth between the cherubims. Okay, notice that place from the city of Yehudah. <laughs> Look 1, 36, uh, 39. And Mariam arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Yehuda. <laughs> where the Ark of the Covenant was, that is where she also went. Really? <laughs> Coincident? I read now back to 2 Samuel 6, 11. And the Ark of Yehovah continued in the house of Abedidon of three months. So let's also see what the Ark of the New Testament also does. Back here again, Luke chapter 1, 56. And Mariam abode with her about three months. And returned to our house. The ark remained three months. She also remained three months. <laughs> All right now, back here again to Second Samuel 6, now 22. And I, will, and I will yet be more veiled from dust than dust, excuse me, than dust. And will be a base in my own sight. And of the men servants which thou hast spoken of, of them shall I be whole in head, excuse me, or oh, hold, let me check it well. Okay, had in honor. Okay, exactly the same. Because Mariam, okay, let me read before I start talking. I read now, Luke 1 48. For he had regarded the low state of his handmaid. For behold, from thenceforth all generations shall come in. Blessed, blessed, that's it. He said, All these made seven, you said they are going to regularly come in because I dance. No, they are going to hold me in a very high honor. So that's it. For Maria to have a baby, you know, without no sense, it, that should have been a radical. She should have been stunned to death. You committed a lottery because your husband said, I don't have nothing. I've never done so such with you. How come she should have been stunned to death? Okay, she now said, No, forget the story. From now onward, I'm going to be called blessed. From, uh, in our generations so you see so this is the parallel she is the ark of the covenant and that is your rest also ma is where abe you will take his rest and that is also your rest so this is what does uh, the spam of ma does to the womb okay this is what the spam of a husband does to his wife womb okay genesis 5 that is generation Okay, Genesis 5, Numbers 1 and 2, Matthew 1, Luke 3, 23 to 38, Revelation 12. This is what spam does to the womb. No, to bring about nation, generation. Okay, this all royal law, the, 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 the entire royal law deal with sex, birth, reproduction. So family, I'm glad we are done with the first alphabet called womb. Woman's womb, water. Woman's womb, excuse me, is your was laboratory to water man here on earth. So we present that to the very second alphabet. So womb brings about genealogy. Okay. Womb does that also to the penis. As the penis does this to the womb, and they say the womb also brings about, you know, genealogy. So proud. This is what Yahuwah said to me. To me. This is what you want to know to me, yeah, to me. This is what you want to me in his secret place, in his hiding place. He told me this, yes, he told me this. Oh, woman, I'm so in you.
my heart on you. That is the way I thought and discipline myself for you.